And we're live. Hi, everyone. I'm Nick. And I'm Maria. And this is Full of Brick. Because we're full of brick. And um, it's Sunday afternoon. Afternoon. And so we have a small brief window here when Hayden's asleep, the baby. So we decided to jump on. Yes. And already there's people in the comments. We got Pumpkin, Bricks, and... Hello, Mr. D. Frost, too. You guys are quick into the comments. So it's Bricktober. It is Bricktober. Oh, wait, we can't jump into that yet. Right? <laughs> Let's talk about our week first. Oh, um, my goodness. I went back to work because I was off for the last two weeks. How so was that? It was okay. Busy, not so busy, and busy. Uh, yeah, good to be back to work, back to routine. Uh, getting, busy, busy at work? Yeah, it's busy. It's getting, it's getting quite busy. I feel like usually during fall, right before Christmas, uh, I work in a radiation therapy department, so a lot of patients who have been diagnosed were putting it off maybe over the summer to enjoy summer, and now they're in, they're coming in droves. I honestly don't mm. know how referral process works, but it's been busy for us. Uh, and then, of course, to get the kids back to a routine where I'm back to work is another uh, sort of um, uh, follow-up, I guess, because for the last two weeks, it's been nice that I was just home and sending them to school, and even with Tristan and his uh, cross-country meet. Yeah. or cross-country practices, I was able to either bring him to school or... Now so now we had to start a juggle between you and my mom. Well, although, your mom. although he hasn't really gone to practice, I think he missed one because it was picture day on Tuesday. Yeah. And I needed him to look cute, although I really wanted to keep everything. The bangs! I don't know. Are bangs in? He likes the Justin Bieber He bangs. loves his bangs, but then if you say it's the Justin Bieber bangs, he'll be very offended by it. He doesn't or, like Justin Bieber? Yeah. Well, I think he's he wants to be the Tristan Bing, the uh, big T Bing. Um, and uh, he said his hips have been hurting. So you've been taking him to the gym. I've been taking him to the gym, and instead of running, we played squash twice. So it's cool. Yeah. He, right? It's another sport. So I learned how to teach squash in uh, university um, in Phys Ed. And so I was, well, basically, I thought you had to play squash, right? Get to the T. See, it's all haunting. Get to the T. <laughs> So uh, on the first day, I think it was Wednesday, I took Tristan and I just decided we should just do a bunch of drills. Mm -hmm. So um, I think actually the footage of it was shown today. It was published today. I don't oh, know if okay. you saw it. I haven't seen it yet. So like one of the drills was him just bouncing the ball yep. up and down. He had to do 10 times until we go to the next drill. Okay. Hitting it against the wall. And once he gets 10, then we go to the next drill. So it took about maybe 45 to 50 minutes to finish all the drills. Wow. And so more than me. at the end, 15 minutes of play. We just played for like 10 minutes. And for, for Are a, you making a one the hour. next world squash champion? Mm, I don't know. He's, he's okay. <laughs> so we just kind of hit it back. I mean, and we forth. didn't get into squash until we were like 18, 19, 20, 21. And then on day two, on Thursday, we did, I want to do exactly the same thing. So we started with the drills, but it only took him like five, 10 minutes, maybe what? not even 10 minutes to finish all the drills that we did the first day because. We can only move on to the next drill if he got 10 in so a row. So he's already like done this. Yeah, he was like 10 in a row, then 10 in a row. So he was able to do it quick, so there was more times for rallying. But we even we played three full games. That's great. And then I was trying to do other stuff with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and then on Friday, we went back to running again. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I didn't go to the gym with me today because you guys have been busy playing Lego Dimensions. Yeah, oh, we'll get into we'll that after how Lego Dimensions. Like okay. Uh, what else happened? So yeah, picture day, they were... Oh, there's another thing too with the, the squash. Okay. Um, so we were playing, uh -huh. I guess you'll see on the footage, afterwards he keeps showing me his hand and it's all black. Oh, it's from the handle. And so it's from the, from the handle. The I guess hand, it's, it's... It's wearing out and so it, it was making both our hands yet. black. So uh, what I did at work today with some hockey tape, I kind of taped oh, okay. it up. Okay, what did you so hockey we'll tape it's, uh, it's in the clinic. So uh, yeah, we have, we have black hands. Oh, okay. So that was another thing too. Where was the were the courts pretty full? I thought they were going to be because I always see people with squash rackets. Maybe yeah, they just walk around looking cool. <laughs> so on the look on uh, Wednesday when we were finished, mm -hmm. we saw two other squash games going on. There's four courts. But no other kids. No other kids. Mm -hmm. And then, but on on uh, Thursday when we finished playing and when we started playing, there was no one playing squash at all. It was mm -hmm. just us. And so, I think with any gym, I mean, beginning of the week is always very busy. I think, or these guys, I think they make squash dates with each other. Because mm -hmm. I always see them down in the gym uh, working out too, but then I guess they, mm -hmm. they play with each other as well. 
Cool. So are you having fun that you're introducing more different sports to your firstborn? Yeah, he's, he's getting more coordinated compared to that. Basketball still isn't the greatest. <laughs> I know soccer, they have they have ba know. they have basketball skills. I think soccer, even his French teacher saying is getting, he's getting into better. it. Yeah. But you know, we can only push them so much, right? Like not everybody has an affinity for sports. Running, but. you don't really need coordination. You just have to move. Well, move there's a legs. Phoebe from friends type of running. Running like this. But that when you're expending way too much energy, that's what you So what have. happened today? You were supposed to do a race with Tristan today. So I signed up for the CIBC run for a cure. It was for free because it was a friends and family. For breast cancer. For breast cancer. He was telling me, I'm, I don't have breast cancer. And I, I told him he has breasts. You don't have to have breast cancer to run it. I know. But he's like, men don't even have breasts. And I'm like, I treat men with breast cancer. It's 1% mm. of the population, folks. So you guys didn't do it. So I didn't do it because according between me and the other two ladies that I signed up for, if it was raining and cold we're not going to do it like raining is the big thing right like i don't mind running in the cold as long as but it's sunny so and dry it wasn't raining it was raining when we got up oh because that when i uh went to the car at 11 um to grab my gym yeah, like the race that had been done by then it wasn't raining and i was thinking oh, the race was, was supposed perfect, to start at like nine perfect weather i thought the race was starting at 10. or 10. <laughs> but it was also funny because like i've done the cbc run for a cure before yeah i did all the way to nathan phillips square i came third Oh, the one in Oakville. Do it? Remember, Oakville. we did it, I did it with uh, Baird. Mm. He came in first. They came in third, and we got yeah. nothing. See, so well, I mean, it's for a good cause, right? Good cause. They got people got awards for raising the most money. Yes. The year that yes. we did it. So that said, uh, I was gonna try the Mississauga location for the first time this year, but it's at the University of Toronto Mississauga, and it's a very like sort of in its own corner of. The spot you know what i mean like i feel like if we parked there at the university we wouldn't have been able to leave easily if the race was still ongoing and there's it's really at, um, and there's really nowhere else to park arendelle park and then walk up but it took quite a hike not really we always run, we run it there but, are uh, shuttles coming from arendelle high school with that corner of uh western churchill you can either park at arendelle park or you can park at um the South mall, mall and just run down college way yeah it's like more it's not we even, don't want to do more than 5k. It's not even well, a kilometer going So I did 5k on the treadmill today. Okay, that's not bad. And how was it? How did it feel? It was okay. It was dry and it wasn't cold. Okay. So how's your running coming along? Uh, it's coming along, but because I don't have any goals really, like I don't have any more race events, I am thinking of a half marathon towards next year. Okay. Like November in Disney World. Hmm. There's a wine and dine. So we'll see how it goes. But I guess because there's no like but I do run. Like I tend to intersperse it with my other kind of workouts. So if I can do a 5K, it hasn't been bad, you know. I feel like I've and it allows me to watch scandal. Oh my gosh, so I went back to scandal today because I finished reading my books. So and now I found out who that guy is and that's her dad. Yeah. And I kind of spoiler alert. <laughs> and I kind of figured I kind of thought that could have been her dad I could I, in the past I'm like that'd be cool if this is her dad I bet this is her dad and then when it became her dad then it's like the pace kind of quickens again so I really want to watch it so let's finish this and then, up. You, and then you find out someone something else not just the dad but the brother no sister no mother <laughs> <laughs> but you're almost done you're already like in season like I don't know four I'm at season four halfway halfway through season four it's almost done they're going they're doing season five right now last on, night on you tried you tried watching making me watch scream scream netflix now has scream based on the movie scream if you guys were born we used to watch i think scream four actually came out oh it was um courtney cox was and david arquette were the main characters but yeah scream, scream one That's how they met, scream probably. one had drew barrymore mm -hmm. she was the first kill so spoilers in any case, I'm like, how are you going to make this into an episode, you know, every week into like a whole series? Because how many people can you kill before the entire city is killed I think it's and turned to down. zombie? It is and then it's just boring because the whole point of scream is you want to scream because someone's slashing you. But you were screaming. I know. So I went to sleep. You and Mason. I couldn't watch it. I'm so bad at watching horror movies. So bad at watching horror movies. What about Walking Dead? You're pretty good now. Yeah, because I'm not afraid of zombies. I'm afraid of people now. But now Fear the Walking Dead you're scared of. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, oh, oh. but you haven't started restarted watching that something How to Get Away with Murder. No, not yet. I got Susan to watch it. She finished the whole season already. I was gonna wait for you. So oh, you that that's one. so sweet. Yeah. Are you gonna wait for me until after I finish all of my scandaling? Uh, maybe because oh. I I still have Gotham I want to watch. That oh. came out. 
And I only watched maybe two episodes on regular television, then I gave up on it. Oh. So it's on Netflix now, and oh. Tristan's been wanting me to watch it. So Gotham? Yeah. The one that didn't do so well on regular TV? I don't know if it, maybe it did, because they may, they have a season two now. Oh. So maybe it did do well, but I just didn't give it a chance. When's the one with, like, Harley Quinn coming out? That's a series or is that a movie? Oh, that's a movie. That's Suicide Squad. Oh, when's that coming out? Not sure. It has Will Smith in it as well. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Harley Quinn is played by the girl from Wolf of Wall Street. Yes. Uh, Robbie? Yes. Margot Robbie? Um, Stickman costume. Yeah, so you came home a few days ago and yeah. from your mom. You she got a Mason a Halloween costume. So thanks, Mom, because now I don't have to buy him a costume. He actually wanted to get this skeleton costume from Loblaws. She saw that on the blog. That's oh. why she wanted to get the, the Stickman. But she already got the Stickman way before when Target was closing down. That was oh. her news to me anyway. Oh. But it's so cool because you light it up. Like you have to be in the dark to see it. I posted it on my Instagram account. You'll see it on the Check out the too. Instagram. But uh, it's funny because like, when you're all in the dark and the whole thing's dark, but then you get the outline of a stick man and then you kind of move. It's cute. <laughs> but he's been wanting to wear it. So move, I, told stick man, move. I told him to stop playing with it until after Halloween and he can do it whatever. Yeah, he pretty much already ripped it at one point. So I, I was know. able to fuse the electric stuff back together and okay. fix it. But you know, you, Mrs. Electric. MacGyver. Um, so is that going to be his Halloween costume mm -hmm. this year? How about Tristan? Tristan doesn't seem to be. He can wear my Angry Bird costume. Yeah, you're not gonna. You're not gonna need any more costumes. So no. funny. You went to Toys R Us today, and Mason saw a minion, an adult minion outfit, and he's like, "Oh, that that daddy would look good in that." He's I guess he sees like you in the Angry circle. Bird, and then you in a banana, which is yellow. Oh, yeah, Suddenly, it's a banana. the cross the cross contamination between an Angry Bird and a banana. My past few Halloweens, I was Woody. Oh yeah, Woody. Actually, before that, I think I was a vampire. Yeah. And then I was Woody. Well, Tristan can be that vampire because he's tall now. Mm -hmm. And then I was Angry Bird, and then I was a big banana. Yeah. yeah. And that was yeah. Um, Tristan thinks his voice is dropping. He's like, "Mom, when am I entering puberty?" And I told him, "When you get hair in your armpit." And he's like, "I don't have hair in my armpit." Okay. I don't notice his voice dropping. Do you? It still kind of, kind of sounds high. It still kind of sounds like him. I don't know when it's gonna. Did yours drop? I don't know when mine drop. Mine drop. Yeah, yours, yours is lower than mine. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw at Chapters, you are Chapters, and there's some sort of star. Yeah. Oh star my box. goodness. Okay, so Chapters is trying their best. To chapters Indigo, which is like a bookstore, Barnes, Barnes and Noble. Noble. So they're trying their best to compete with the points queens out there. So the top points people are really President's Choice. And Shoppers Drug Mart, right? Okay. Like they give you the most bang for your buck. You spend X amount of money, and you get you get get points, and then you get lots of free stuff. So like a few days ago, I even scored three hundred forty free dollars at Shoppers Drug Mart. Three hundred forty. Three hundred forty dollars. So they gave you money back? Well, no, but like you buy their products, you spend three hundred forty dollars back. I mean, like either I spend three hundred forty dollars back, or I get three hundred forty dollars for free. Okay. It's still a pretty good deal. When has Lego given you free stuff? No, never. Never, right? So Shoppers Drug Mart, read up on it. It actually has the best point system. Anyways. It's Shoppers Drug Mart in the States. Oh, no, just in Canada. But um, President's Choice bought out Shoppers Drug Mart. So okay. they're trying to make their point system as enticing. Is it really helping us? I guess if anything, it's making me want to spend more. Like it makes me want to go to those specific stores more, knowing that I'll get a return back, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess that's how they compete with their competitors. Like I'm not going to, going to go to Longos or Sobeys or whatever because what are their point system like crappy? So instead of go to them, but Indigo chapters have always had points. I think it's like a dollar, you get 20 points. But their point system has disappointingly gone for the worse oh. ever since I started with them. And I mean, like it wasn't even always chapters Indigo. It was Cold books. It was W. H. Smith, and I mean, I've always been, I've always carried a, a membership, right? But uh, they're trying sometimes five times the points event. So this weekend, it's a Star Wars five times points events where you can okay. buy toys and books, and they say accessories. Even Lego Star Wars. So this is my thing. Not Lego exclusions. Lego and uh, electronics. What do I uh, like buying? Lego and electronics. What, they have, what do you mean electronics? Like, Cute little USB with um, Darth Vader. There's even oh my god, this is so cute. There's this cute R two D two, and you put him in your car in a car holder, and then you plug him into your um, help me smoke thingy. Okay. 
What's that thingy? The, sm the, the charger yeah. in the car. But then it comes up with three different chargers for your tablet, device, and phone. Oh. And then it'll tell you, no, 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 and I wanted to get it. And you but can it's, find it. it but it count. wasn't part of it. How much is it? 40. 40 bucks. It's the second part of my like <laughs> Christmas thing. Anyways, it's, it's a waste of money. Fine, I know. And there's also, remember how we also have like an extra power bar? Like the extra power bar whenever we go to see yeah. oh we yeah. are discharged to charge you are... to, yeah so you charge this battery so charge it's like an extra iPhone. an extra battery right because yeah. we use your iphones all the time there's one with darth vader and it's so cute and I, I think i really want that one and again it wasn't part of the five times because it was under the electronic session so what but what's deceiving hey brick sean what was deceiving was online when they gave me first the email right it does say and books toys and, and accessories and all those were like there like as if you can get like five it showed, it yes. showed lego well no it showed, well yeah when you open toys it'll show like a lego set oh. you're tricking me tricking it's so the I know. switch so was there anything Anything worth it in the Lego no. no so it's like really toys so there's one that Tristan that Mason was playing yesterday I can't remember what it's called, but it was like oh, a toy toy. With the but Hasbro. With so the I mean, all, all their toys, all their other non-Lego toys, Star Wars themed, are five times the points. Their books. But who buys books at a bookstore? Who buys books at a bookstore nowadays? So those. What about the Lego books? Yeah, Lego I guess I guess we would get those. That comes with a little mini figure. Oh, maybe. But we have Is them that all. Tricking. I, I know. I was just wondering. We have them all. Um. So that I, was that this weekend. I saw on the vlogs too that. Hayden finally learned how to get off the bed, but not, not really. Our, but not our bed. Not our bed. Our bed is really, really high. Our but bed, you actually can. You actually have to buy staff to get to our bed. Your mom's bed. He was able to. Can he do it now? The visitors room. Well, I think I have to like hold him and force oh, him to get to the very still edge, scared. and then he'll drop because gravity helps him. It sounded like he said, "I did it" on the video when I was watching it. It sounded like he said, "I did he it." He talks like this. Yeah. And you tell me to mimic him so that he'll mimic us. He hasn't mimicked me. He hasn't said mommy you're the best. He says uh da 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 But this could be mama. I could be mama. You could be mama. Not I don't know what mama is. Yeah, by the time he starts talking, you're gonna tell him to be quiet. It's just like walking now where he's walking everywhere and you're like, when's he gonna start walking? And now he's just walking everywhere. But what if something's wrong with him? He has 19 months, almost 20 months, and he's still fat, 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 fat. I mean, how are we going to toilet train a kid when we can't even say, this is where your pee pee goes? Dogs can uh, get toilet trained, and they can't talk. Are you calling my kid a dog? I don't know. Um, so Tristan's been saying that he's been finishing fourth or fifth when he's been doing his cross country, but I haven't been but able to this. witness this. Mm, interesting. But he's saying, because when we were watching, it was like kind of like middle of the pack, but now he's saying he's finishing towards mm. the front end. So, That's I don't good. know. His oh. race is on Thursday. Yeah. What happens if it gets rained out? Because I had signed the waiver, yeah. permission slip, that he will be participating, but I also put that we are going to be driving our child to the event. I go to school and they don't have to bus him over. It's interesting because it's a whole day event. It's like nine to three, so we don't even have to return him back to school. But Mason still goes to school, right? Yeah. So I'm thinking sushi that. Maybe that that's what we did last time. His, maybe, maybe. So his race is gonna be, I think, the third race or, or the fourth, maybe. Yeah. Because I think gonna be cold, the girls, the great, the great fours go first. Yeah, it's always youngest. So he's like youngest girl, so youngest boy. Grade four girls, great. Four boys, boys, five girls, five, five boys. boys, and then he's. Uh, and then we dish the whole thing. So he might be like the sixth, the sixth race. So we don't even have no to be fourth. there. No fourth. Oh no, he's in grade six. Yeah, we might not have Maybe to be there. Maybe four or five goes together because there's, go not together really, there's not really a lot of grade four. I don't remember now. Maybe it's like junior, intermediate, yeah. senior. I remember last year he was done, and then there were still a whole bunch of other kids that haven't gone yet, and we just took off. Mm. So true that. What time does it start? Do you know? Uh, though there's a first walkthrough. Oh, yeah, I think walk that's like 10, he knows the walkthrough. I think it's like 10 30 the walkthrough. Okay, I gotta so bring lots not, of food. He might not starve. Run. What if he his race? I can read a lot of books. What if his race is in the same time as when Mason comes home? We, we miss Mason. Well, because why was it gonna be there? Yeah. Pick up? Okay, we won't miss it because the bus their bus is supposed to leave at three. Okay. From the event, so they need to plan the, the whole event to finish before three. Oh, we watched another movie on Netflix. It was the Imitation Game. Yes, so it came out last year. It got a lot of good reviews, but we just never watched this kind of movie on 
What's the thing that, like Decif the deciphering code? Yes, from World War II to defeat the enemy. And it had Smog. Well, the actor who plays Smog. Okay, besides playing Smog, why Khan. is he? Why is he the so big? Why is he so big? Yeah, and and then that. Why did they always think he's I so think great? He was also in um, because every time that he's in like those the Leonardo, Leonardo Leonardo DiCaprio movie. Um, what was that one? The one with their brain. With, help, with um, it was the old olden time one. And also had uh, Django. Oh. It was uh, Django Unchained. Oh. I think he was in that. He was the one of the. Um, yes. Okay. But he was kind of a good. Bad guy. Yeah. He was okay. kind of good. Do you remember him? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a good movie. Interesting, but really the focus wasn't so much on decoding as another issue. All right, ready for some Lego? Maybe Bricktober. Bricktober. So Bricktober in the states started last. So is it like October first? Should be because it's Bricktober. So. But so you want your states, purchase? You did your purchase on Friday. Yeah, which was October two. two. But I think in the States it started before October. It was last Sunday or, or something like that. Um, so Bricktober, mm -hmm. I participated in the last three Brick. This is my third Bricktober. Wow. So the first Bricktober I was in, um, we got these packs of minifigures, three, uh, five minifigures in a pack. Oh. And they were like different themes. So there's like a wizard, there was like a king and all this oh. stuff. And so each each for the first three weeks you got something. And then the last week they gave out those um containers. Those containers up there. The ones where we keep the the collect um superheroes. So that was two years ago. The year before that I, I missed out on it and it was all this classic stuff. But so you weren't into it. It was like classic nineteen eighties, different classic nineteen eighties minifigures. Oh. Last year they changed it from the minifigures and it was mini the, towns, mini, mini buildings, mini buildings. micro. And uh, so they had like a mini. movie theater, they had a um, fire hall, it, a yeah. town hall. It and reminded then, me of the module that we had, but it's not. Yeah, it was kind of, it wasn't as detailed. And it's not the same scale, right? It's a touch smaller or is it the same scale? I think it's the same scale. Oh. But this week, um, it's the same. It's we the have same, these mini but there's buildings. different ones now. So there's a hotel. This week was a hotel. Then we're going to have um, a train station, a bakery, and then a Toys R Us. Mm. And so, so the rule is you have to spend $75 before sales taxes. So the first thing I got, I went on Friday, and I got this. Are you going to be doing this again on your channel? What? Opening uh, one per know. day? Maybe we should. Well, I don't know. You have fun doing that I with your voice, so. right? And just videotape yeah. it? Okay. So this is the Star Wars Advent Calendar for this year, and this is sent um, um, C-3PO, who will probably be on the last day. I don't want to open it up. It's right here, this picture. Yeah, I know, but you know how that you can open it? I don't want to open it up. Can see. But it's a little bit boring because it's almost like if you have a C-3PO minifig and a Santa Claus torso, you can create one right now. I know. It doesn't there isn't really much any detail on this guy. I mean, and there's how many beards do we have in our collection? Versus, for example, Santa Yoda had cute little, um, what are called, uh, candy canes on his from his pockets, right? Like, they had something cute. But Maybe the, the belt is gold. Yeah. So Maybe fancy. That's, that's the exclusive... Uh, print on Santa, you get a gold belt that matches C-3PO. Lego. <laughs> but I do like the, buy that? I like the reindeer. The reindeer, the R2-D2 deer. R2-D2 deer. R2-D2 deer. R2 -D2 deer. R2 -D2 deer. Or does, I guess it's Hoth. The, the whole thing is about Hoth. Because you got the at, at and you got the Hoth soldier here. What else are we getting? Uh, a lot of... A well, like getting, uh, another storm two stormtroopers, another one stormtrooper, and this little. So I think altogether there may be five minifigs, right? Yeah, doesn't say. Oh, all. and a cute little what's this walkie? Ewok. 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 And you got a one, Jawa. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's, six. that's not bad. Out of twenty days, and, and then the rest are like vehicles. Crawler. Yeah, sand crawlers. How about that? that? So that was uh, Canadian. That's fifty bucks. And then to make it to seventy-five, he really needed something that was. Twenty-five bucks. Well, nothing. Everything else was twenty-four ninety-nine, so that wouldn't give me enough. Twenty, because this was forty-nine ninety-nine, and other things were twenty-four ninety-nine. And there's nothing for twenty-nine ninety-nine. Um, there was something, but I didn't want to get it. I wasn't really interested. So I mean, the next week. 
I, I can do stuff I can get. Mm. So this is the only Jurassic World set that was out. They didn't have the T-Rex. They didn't have the Raptor Escape or the Pterodactyl. But did you even like this dinosaur or are you just buying the dinosaurs now? Are you just like facing, because before you're like, oh, I don't really want to buy these. And then now we are like, having all of them. I like the dinosaurs. You're not even dinosaurs. I like dinosaurs. Wait, no, I had this conversation. He likes dinosaurs. Remember when I was a kid, yeah. I had that dinosaur collection. Mm. So this is the one that we got. Hi, minifigure collector. And when you, you spend over $25, this is like a board you get this free poly bag, Yep. which we have already from the Lego store. It's more poly bags. And now we better. get another astronaut. And Yay. astronauts are cool, especially if you're going to do a mock of, um, what was that movie that we saw? Interstellar. Interstellar mock. And this is what we've all been waiting for, the hotel. The hotel. So what happened? Toys R Us exclusive. So what happened? To, what was my mistake that I did? So your mistake was not letting me shop. That's your biggest mistake. Because I, you because have a coupon, right? I have a ten percent right? off any Star Wars set less than two hundred ninety nine dollars. So that would still. Also, oh, it only works for Star Wars. Star Wars. Oh. But still, it's a reusable ten percent until the end of the year. So I'm at least like next week. I should get something you, Star you Wars. You should keep it. Yeah. You don't even well, know what you want to buy. You should, look you at your, I, I can wash your face and you're like, I no, don't know what I'm getting. Because there's some uh, adventure stuff I want to get. Like, I still want to get the um, Stark Tower. But if I should get that in the Lego store, then. How much is that? I think it's 99 bucks. But that's way more than 75 Yeah, that's true. And then that was, that's going to be like 30% off one day. 20, yeah. I don't know. Wait, you got you to gotta say, okay. So the first mistake was not making me go shopping. And and then on top of that, I also had gift cards. I had a gift card from Toys R Us for forty five dollars that I wanted to apply, but I keep on trying to give it to you. Okay. So the so what I ended up doing today is I went back to return those two sets, but to buy them again to apply my ten percent off the Star Wars Advent Calendar and to use the forty five dollar uh, gift card. So instead of spending one hundred and one dollars, I only spent forty. That's good. I know. And they gave me another one. What? How did that happen? And because I went to another girl, right? And then I'm like, oh, I'm just going to buy this again. And I said, again. And she's like, oh, perfect. It's time for October. And I didn't say anything. So do you think I should get something next week and then have you return it and yeah. get one of these again? Yeah. If it works? That's a scam. Which uh, which Toys R Us did you go to? The one on Argentina? Argentina. Okay, yeah, that's the one I went to. I don't think they care. They didn't even care that you're going to purchase it. They're like, yeah, you just return it. And ultimately, I think they just want to make sure that we buy it again. Oh. But um, when I went there on Friday, the girl said they only have one box, and there's only six of them in a box. What do you mean? Six of these things. In one box? What kind of a small box? That would be only good for six people, six purchases? Yeah, so I was like, do you think it's going to sell out today? And she said, probably. And I, and I bought it for, like the first thing well, in the morning. Oh. So maybe that was maybe the last that was one. unlucky. Maybe maybe unlucky. I don't know. Mason got this. Another mix up. Yeah. So he went to a birthday party. This is a giveaway. See, birthday party giveaways are very difficult because you already have a, you're already hosting a party that's costing you hundreds of dollars, and I kid you not. And then you're still thinking what to get that's substantial, right? Like not just like a lollipop. Why? Why do we spend so much on birthday? I didn't have these so kind of birthday parties. So this is like five bucks. That's three ninety nine, four ninety nine. So maybe we should do maybe that. She, he got this on. They got it. I know, but the sale is still three ninety nine, right? Because it's that and like a candy. So oh. is, actually, I prefer to get something like that than like a bunch of like dollar yo yo or yeah. I don't know. That can be reused. Junky junk. And get people into. Like, <laughs> that could give be given to the parents. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. Also, um, I guess this whole week has been a lot of Lego Dimension playing yeah. by myself and also by the boys. I know. I think it's, it's kept them good, right? Tristan and Mason have they start, kind of argue. started one game, and then I started another, my own game, yeah. too. Just so I can... Did you already build all the builds that you can build? Did you already build all the builds that you can build? Well, so th on the actual game, there's 14 levels, and, um, and they're pretty cool. Just hold on. Yeah. So there's like they have the Simpsons level, which is a very cool one. They also have like a Back like to the Future the one. Munchkin land. Yeah, there's so there's a Wizard of Oz level, Ghostbusters, Scooby Doo, and these are just in the regular. These aren't the extras. They're just the regular <gasps> extras. The regular levels. They have like one level that's like Metropolis meets um, the Tower of Orthanc. Okay. So the Tower of Orthanc all of a sudden comes up in Metropolis. Right. Um. 
we have a Doctor Who one where there's um, the Daleks and uh, Cybermen, and then there's the Weeping Angels. Um, and it's scary. Mason was scared of the Weeping Angel one. Who isn't scared of the Weeping Angel? Because Angels? the lights would suddenly turn off and then turn back on, and then they just That's move cool. closer to you. And like, you can see Speaking their face. of Doctor Who, I made my first speed draw. Oh. The 10th Doctor. He's my favorite. Not that I'm actually into Doctor Who because I just can't get into Doctor Who lore. I feel like I watch a bunch of these separate episodes. You don't like the potato face with the tie? I'll make him next. Matt Smith? Sure. I guess he's the 11th Doctor. No, this is the 10th guy. And then the 12th Doctor, 12th Doctor is the one that would be getting the... Um, Oh, the sets with? Yeah. You're not going to make these vintage sets with 10? No, I mean, like, for Lego Dimensions. Oh, really? It's the 12th Doctor. Oh, with the gray, but there's, like, phase three hair. or something, right? I think it's the next one coming up. And I think... When do you think it's coming up? I, I read today that the next one should be coming out in November. Where's your sources? The Brick Fan. Alan. How does he know? He knows it all. Alan Brick Fan. We've met once before. How do you know all your Tor stuff? Tormentulous. Yes. How do you know? Can someone tell me? So, the Doctor Who level is pretty good. Yes. Everyone like this? I like the, how you did the stripes. I know, me too. Thanks. When I was watching the speed build. It came up pretty well. I was yeah. very pleased. The speed I build, sure I mean the speed draw. How to, to work him out. The speed draw for this will be in two days. Yeah. In two days. I know, I haven't been drawing to my potential. Oh, there's also a, a Ninjago level too. And it was the first time I actually played... A yeah. Lego video game with Ninjago, which was interesting, oh. because you know how Ninjago doesn't even have a Lego video game on like Xbox 360 and, and all that. But they have a cartoon. Effect. They have a cartoon. I think they might have one like in, in a computer or something, yeah. or a cool. different system. Maybe uh, the Wii. I'm not sure. Uh. Um. Oh, and then there was another thing. I guess last week on the live stream, we mentioned that there were no instructions yeah. for any of the builds. But so is. we found out that if you go to the Lego website and then you press product and then you press Lego dimension or you, you go to Lego website, you press Lego dimensions and you press product, mm -hmm. it's going to show all the different packs there. Mm -hmm. You select the pack and you select the PDF and it shows you all the alternate builds. And then so we did that today. Mason, uh, Mason Tristan and I were building all the alternate builds for the video because we're going to do some review videos of that. And then we just kept the, the coolest looking one as the main one that's going to be on the disc. So that was good. That was good. Uh, another weird thing, though, was today we finished, today Tristan finished all four, he finished the 14th level. So he finished all of Lego Dimensions. So far, I'm only up to, I think, level But is he just 12. going through it or is he finding every single piece he's of going, He's just trying to finish it. Um, so then we said, uh, because I told him uh, once you finish all 14 levels, then we can start using those extra characters mm -hmm. because there's three bonus levels. There's the Simpsons bonus level, um, there's Back to the Future, and there's mm -hmm. Portal. So then we tried putting it in, and then it wouldn't work. It just kept on saying, you need to update, you need to mm -hmm. update. So then I was look going online, and it turns out you have to be connected to um, like, um, Xbox Live. Oh. But the weird and thing was, new people? you can't no, just be on the internet. Oh. You can't be connected to Xbox Live and connected to the base at the same time because there's only one USB port in our um. in our thing in our box. Um. So I, I figured out that if you disconnect the box, disconnect the pad, mm -hmm. and then you have to exit out and exit mm -hmm. back in and do all the updates just with the um, Xbox Live connected first, and then it will work afterwards. Oh. But the bad thing was, we did all our levels on just regular Xbox, not Xbox Live. So now we we don't have any of those right levels that we completed, and so right now they're working on getting it doing back, yeah. all fourteen, 14 levels, levels again. But this time on Xbox Live. Do you think in the future, because there's all these toys invested, like tangible toys invested? into the whole software game that they'll come up with additional software? Maybe. Well, the thing about the Xbox Live they were saying was it's a way for them just to do the updates mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kelly's there. Kelly knows what I'm talking about with um, hey, Xbox Live. Did you guys do the X levels yet for um, Back to the Future or um, what's the other one? Sorry. Simpsons. 
because I know you and Bubba got uh, got Xbox Live as well. Because today Tristan and I were trying it, and hey, we had to be connected to Xbox Live. But when we first played the whole game, because we finished the 14 levels, it was just on the regular Xbox. It wasn't mm -hmm. on Xbox Live. Mm -hmm. So I was telling Maria now that we have to do everything all over again on Xbox Live. Woo we have to play games all afternoon. <laughs> that sounds so hard. We, I guess the boys already know how to complete all the levels, so they can just zoom right through it. Yeah. But we did try the um, we tried having the Wicked Witch of the West today for the first time, and then so on the first level when it's in it's in um, the Wizard of Oz or Munchkin Man mm -hmm. or Wizard of Oz, you can break down those metal barriers now because you have the Wicked Witch because okay. you couldn't do that before without, without her? the Wicked Witch. Yeah, yeah. And you go into the whole level, whole different I really area, hope we which get is all the for the Munchkin Man. Wizard of Oz. That that will come. That would be my dream. Maybe my dream. Other things that you might need that we don't have is um, you need Superman or Cyborg to break golden things Are they with available the laser right eyes. Now? Cyborg is, but then I you think know we can ask if we could buy these items for Bricktober. I was I was reading though that um, like on on um, on the game mm -hmm. that if you have one of the Homer Simpson's um, bills, yeah, it can do the same thing. Um, and we we already have the Homer Simpson, so maybe we don't need that. Okay. Uh, you're, you're gonna need Smog to go through little small yeah. things. Or who else is short? Or like a Hobbit. <clears throat> so we don't have that either. Okay. Um, and yes. you're gonna need Aquaman to. For water. Uh, for some um, some plant thing. I can, I'm not sure. Kelly says no extra levels yet. We were playing through the main game first. Only been able to play a bit busy week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my, that was my rule too with the boys. I said no extra levels yet. We have to finish all fourteen levels before doing. Because I know once they start doing all the extra extra levels, It'll they're not longer, they're right? not going to concentrate on the mm -hmm. actual game. And I wanted them just to figure out all the puzzles of that. And plus, they'll extend the fun of everything. Because now you have to do everything again with all the. This called delayed gratification. Mm -hmm. Delayed gra gratification. We don't know how to do that. Oh, somehow, so someone. Yeah. yeah. And um, now we have with Scooby Doo because we're introducing Scooby Doo. Yeah. Now we can do the digging, yeah, which we couldn't do before. Okay. Yeah, um, I saw that you built the sandwich in the mystery machine. Yeah. I like those. Those are so. a couple of my favorites. Uh, what else? Um, nothing much. What's Lego like, news out there? Oh, there's other things too. Um, this week I also did a room tour. Oh yeah. For October. Uh, for I think September. I need to vacuum around your room tour. And then. Um, we're putting out five more Lego reviews just for those level packs. Okay, some Lego news. Um, there's going to be some events yeah. coming up for Toys R Us. Some go oh, Toys R Us, when? Um, I asked them today. I asked this girl, but clearly she didn't know. I'm like, hey, when's your next toy event? Well, I saw it outside the door. There's this big um, flyer that okay. said it. So there's going to be a make and take um, on Saturday, October 17th. In Canada, the make and take is from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. What is it? In the States, the make and take is going to be from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. So we can drive to Buffalo after our 11 a.m. Yeah. But it, So it's nothing big. It's uh, a mini kayak. So there's a picture of it, okay. a little mini kayak. Um, how did you get it for free? Because Minifi Collection got the Boris oh. and Gorilla sticker for free. Oh. Um, another another uh, event. On so what is that? So that's October 17th, Saturday, October 17th. Mm -hmm. So this Saturday is what, uh, the 4th? Uh -huh. Next Saturday is the 11th. Okay. Uh, oh, OK, OK. It's already Thanksgiving mm -hmm. next weekend. Is it? Canadian Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving is October 12th. So it's tricky up here. The week after the make and take at Toys R Us, there's another Star Wars minifigure trade. Remember with last year, we mm -hmm. just brought in some dinky, mm -hmm. and then we traded in, and we got minifigures. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll do that again. OK. <laughs> We got some Star Wars. Last year we got uh, a couple clone troopers and uh, Sith Sith troopers. Okay. So we'll see what they what they give out this time. Okay. And so that's all day. Okay. But I think it's better to go earlier because they might already give out all their good stuff. Okay. You know. Yeah. Oh, and this coming up Tuesday is my thing. This Tuesday is your. I uh, build at uh, Lego. Yeah, your monthly so mini build. Gardens that I haven't. I wasn't able to do last. Mm. What's my time again? Six. But they're pretty lenient. Like the last time I had gone two months ago, they said, as long as your name is on the list. Oh, it's that anglerfish. Yeah, you can go anytime. 
Um, yes, you saw the Lego Ideas TARDIS pictures. I haven't. Oh. When did you see it? A couple days ago. Oh, I haven't seen it. Where is that on? Is that on Brickman? I didn't know that. I didn't know those were out already. Where did you guys see that? Rick, Sean, you didn't just wake up. You told us you woke up a while ago. You've been awake for 40 minutes now. <laughs> that is not normal for me. It's not normal for me either. I always wake up at 7 in the morning, and that's a sleep in. Barnes & Noble is having a Star Wars event. Yeah, so that was my next thing. Uh, so Barnes & Noble on Saturday, October 10th at 2 p.m., they're going to have a uh, make and take for the Millennium Falcon. So we're not going oh, to yeah. get that. But it did say that... Um, yeah. Do you know what the exchange rate now is? What? One U.S. dollars, a dollar thirty Canadian. So does that it mean continues to sink? So that mean people in the states want to come? Mm -hmm. We really should. I think the exchange rate here. No more bricks. Come on over. Come to the Lego store. I saw your purchase the other day. I know. He yeah. had these huge bags. I think he got like two Tie Fighters. He got um. He got a Lego architecture set. The only mm -hmm. one he can call. But I think it was the UN. And he got a bunch of others. Um. Yeah, for the Barnes and Noble. Yeah, that's an old one though. The Barnes and Noble. Um, they said that you should call in advance or go to the store and sign up because it's limited spaces. So you don't want to have to go there and it not being there. And because that would make me very sad. Yeah. Uh, what else? Um, here's the um, picture of the. X-wing. So I guess this is the um, the new X-wing, not the old X-wing. This is the the X-wing from the Force Awakens. Uh -huh. Are you sad there isn't any news about the UCS hot? I am so sad. No more. Sad? I've been waiting. I heard it's supposed to come out in November. There's been nothing. They're quiet because so they've heard hoping... they've heard us going. Lego, what's up with your winter set? Boo. Lego. <laughs> new York. Uh, new York Comic Con is coming out. Uh, Did you know Hamilton Comic Con is happening right now this weekend? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So New York Comic Con, maybe they might show something Lego. Is that this weekend or next weekend? There are weekend? girls in our Toronto lug too. Yeah. How yeah. many girls? That I've seen so far. Um, but that's not me. Four. I've seen four that I've gone to. Oh, okay. Really good ones. Yeah, because one of them made the... Uh, Mel? Melanie? Yeah. yeah, she made the... Um, the Habitats. 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 Well, she didn't make the habitats. She was in charge of the habitats. She made the, um, the um, Unikitty Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are cute. And also the, uh, the Blue ah. Church in Toronto. Um, so another thing that, that other news. What? Okay. Best teaser. Did you see the new um, Angry Birds? Um, the new Angry Birds trailer? What happened to you? Who attacked you? The table? Xbox Live attacked you? Mason's coming down the stairs with some booboo on his knee. What did you do? Is it Tristan? Sorry, due to some technical difficulties, we shall return in a few minutes. No, I wasn't sure what Nick was talking about. I'm just going through the Brick Fan website to see if there's anything that we've missed that we can share, that we can talk about. Uh, there's that, you see the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? Yeah, I was going to say that. That was cool. That was cool. So that's reached 10,000 supporters. But it looks very big. What's the big one that's coming that I'm surprised that it's even coming out? Oh, the um, Stay Puff Marshmallow, the, um, oh, the um, Firehouse. The Firehouse. That's big. And that was based on a Lego idea? I don't know if that's going to be under the title Lego Ideas or if they're just making it like a um, Tower of War thing kind of thing. So I'm not sure. Because they should give him some credit for that. So 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, a book by Jules Verne. So the Sea Nautilus, it got its 10,000 supporters, and it looks very cool. But again, it looks like a very detailed um, set to begin with, meaning it most likely will have lots and lots of pieces. So even I feel like when these sets reach 10,000 supporters, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will achieve true Lego creation idea, like, you know. We haven't, uh, when are you going to build the Bricktober Hotel? I don't know if I'm going to build it yet. Am are you going to keep it in boxes, like I, how I keep my books unread? I might collect all eight of them first, 
and then see if they do the oh, same thing next year. Are you thinking that we're going to get eight? No, because we have four from last year oh. and then four from this year. So all okay. eight of them. Because I haven't built any of them from last year. You yet. haven't? Oh, so these things here, they've um, they've come out with the instructions. So you can buy your pieces off Bricklink? So if you have the pieces already, you can just if you go to the Lego uh, website, they apparently That's they good. have the PDF instructions Ooh. for all all four of these. So if you don't want to go, then you won't get like the whole, mm -hmm. I don't know, there might be some rare pieces in there. I don't know if that's a printed piece or a sticker, the Toys R Us yeah. sign, so you might not be able to get that. Yes, I agree with No More Bricks. I hope the Nautilus gets chosen as well. However, how are you going to display it? It's like a one-off. It doesn't go with anything. It goes with all the other Lego ideas, which are one-offs. Yeah, but you've run out of space, one-off. Well, I have stuff in the other room. That's where I put the Big Bang. You know what we need to do? We need to have those children move out of our house. Lego room number two. Get rid of the bunk bed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, also, too, the gingerbread house, the seasonal gingerbread house, and the seasonal oh, yeah. How Christmas do you get train. That? Well, those are going to be um, at the Lego store. At the Lego store. But they've also come out with PDF forms, instructions for these as well. So this is cool. The gingerbread house because she has those brick bricks that mm. come in that dark tan color. I think we got those same ones maybe in Santa's workshop. I'm not sure if it's the same shade, but brick bricks are always helpful. And then you also get some some uh, tiles there, so the circular to tiles. To make it. I am right with you, Maria, yawning over here. I need coffee. I know. I've been drinking it all morning long. I think it's the weather. It's cold and... Is it cold in New York right now? It has to be cold. We're in the same... No more is where again? Washington? Washington. Is it cold in Washington? Maybe. It's not cold in Las Vegas. It's not cold weather. It's not cold in California. Mini Finger Collector is not cold right now. No. What does cold mean, Mini Finger Collector? And you also get instructions for this, too, if you want to build that. That's cool. So we don't have to buy anything. We can just I can just make it for you. Do you have those pieces? No. <laughs> um there's pictures of remember last week I was talking about the Nexo um the yeah. Nexo knights? Yeah. So it's gonna look like that. Mm. They have some Harley Queen freak in the corner over there. So I don't know if I'm a fan of Nexo King, Nexo Nexo Knights. That's what you say, and then for all I know, they're all gonna come to our house. And then we'll even talk about Nexo Nights. What do you guys think about Nexo Nights? How you love it? I see like it's all coming, Nexo Nights. Nexo Nights. It kind of looks like Metal Beard, this guy here, because he's all just and constructed like out of Goblin Harley Quinn. Goblin Harley Quinn. And this red guy is kind of weird. He looks like he's from Ultra Agents. The red guy over here. See, no more brick says yes to the question, is it cold there? Oh, it's cold in um, yes. Washington. We live here in this like sector of the world. Oh, Washington You know where it's warmer. not cold? Asia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then the new Angry Birds trailer. Trailer? The, for the movie, not the not Lego Angry Birds. Oh. I was showing Mason and he was laughing at it. I didn't, I'll show you the whole thing after. But that's up. But it's not Lego? So how did it make itself in here? No, like uh, there's going to be a new Angry Birds movie, but Lego is making a theme based oh, on I Angry see. Birds because they're coming. How are they going to make these round Angry Birds? No More Brick says Nexo Knights is such a weird theme, but it might have some interesting pieces. Meaning you're going to buy all the sets, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag all because the, sets. the only box that contains this interesting piece, says Nick. What does Shutterfly think? I mean, Shutter. Shutter bricks. <laughs> and Kellen says, I like the mini figs. I know See, I Ian like, will love them. I like this whole night stuff too, but then Nick does not have space in his heart for castles. So this is what I was telling you, the 12th Doctor. Oh, cool. For Doctor Who. Yeah. So this apparently might be coming out in November. That's soon. No more bricks. Are you getting Lego Dimensions? Oh, that's cute. And I saw that actually. I like, get a pig. I like them. Angry Bird Pig. But you can watch that after. It's so crazy how everything's like Lego-fied. 
What other big movies are coming out? Other no than more Star Brick Wars? says no. I have no room in the Lego Lab for, for Lego now, for Lego Dimensions. For now, and then I think you know it's only good for if you were a into, month later. You're gonna have a breakdown. I think it's like, only good if you were into the Lego games beforehand, because oh. if you weren't really into the Lego Batman you video just buy game anything? or Lego, you wouldn't really have fun playing um, playing all those other games, mm. just because. I don't know. But we were into the Lego video games even before. I was into the Lego video games and then they took over. And then Lego, what was it? They, they, Indiana Jones? Yes, and then they wouldn't let me play anymore. Lego Indiana Jones? Yes, see, yeah, I just like the packs too. Game. What packs? The, um, like, the, um, like the play packs. Oh, the packaging. Yes. Or, well, just that. But, yeah. I guess it's different when the lights turn on on the board and then you have to jump. To it's cool. Mini fig. You so they so um, they have the play toy, the toy the pad, board, and it can do different things. It can uh, except that circle. I wish, other than that circle being built, it's like a Ferris wheel to me. It should do it's something just, it's else. Just decoration. That's decoration. It should just do something else. Like that one should light. I don't know. But the pad can be used for port three different portals to solve mm -hmm. puzzles to teleport to different places. They can be used for these color. Mm -hmm. So there's there's like a. A circle and two little things, and you yeah. have to ink like uh, go into little paints yeah. and make it different colors. It can make you really big or make you very small if, for finishing different puzzles. What other things it does. How many stars yeah. would you give it out of ten? I would give it like I would give it a high, like a nine point five ten. Don't I was that. asking Tristan today uh, to rate your top three uh, Lego video mm -hmm. games. He was putting Lego Dimensions number one. Oh. Lego Marvel number two and Lego Batman three okay. number three. Okay. So right now Lego better. Dimension it is, only gets better, is right? at the top of the list. How can we be a gamer? How can we create video games? How can we steer our kids to design video games? Is it is it graphic design or is it some sort of computer engineering? I'm not sure. We need to figure this out. Anybody who knows how to create video games. Yeah, you know, fifteen dollars. Uh, yes, no, it isn't. Mini, um, no more bricks. Said. Unless it's fifteen dollars for Emmett, then that's kind of expensive. I almost lost for example yesterday. Again? Not almost. She fell under uh, the counter of Starbucks. So people I was, are people are asking me, is there an alternate head for for Brick Zapper? Because Brick Zapper is so expensive. What is her head at? Um, I'm not sure. No more bricks knows. No more bricks. How's my? <laughs> I can change my face. I mean, I, I he wouldn't even let me change my hair anymore. <laughs> I have to grow my hair back again. Thank God it grows back again. Um. Well, I have used the the angry. Yes, I have an angry face. The angry and the scared. Who's the who's the angry face from? It's from uh, one of the. Legal Is it like a cat lady? It's I think from like a business woman. Oh. So this is the angry. What season of collector is she? This is the angry brick zapper. That's how I look. Who's oh, Julie? There. Oh, I am twenty bucks. Angry brick zapper. Angry brick zapper twenty bucks. I'm not brick zapper. And then this is the scared brick zapper. So when I when 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 I had pictures of the scared brick adjuster running, you yeah. have the same like that running. With the scared bricks out yeah. there. Focus. It was focusing earlier. No. Focus there. Scared. Yeah. You're gonna notice in my next uh, seven what 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 videos that start next Monday. Don't have my chicken hat. I forgot to put it on. So people are gonna be. What? Well, what? Chicken hat. Chicken hat. Your uh, thick fig bridge here is looking really populated. I didn't notice that until I looked at it now. How come you haven't been doing the who's that thing? I just have to, uh, I have to, do, I have to research some more about what the kids are doing. Catching up. What else other sets? I'm not excited for any sets yet. See, and I don't even know what's right for October. We still haven't found the mystery van. Have you seen the mystery Toys R Us yet? No. I'm so sad. It's so popular that it, it is. I think that's the set that would make me super excited, and the cost is like nothing. 
right? Yeah. So we have the mini one that's with the Lego dimensions, and that's very cute. But no more bricks says shutter bricks is beta head was the one that. Oh. It's a great face. I'm not sure how much the that head was. It's not twenty bucks. Twenty bucks for your head, huh? Wow. How about you? Are you are you resting up in the same place there? I don't know. Oh, okay. All right, is that about it? I think that's about it. That's high five. Ten. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks. How many people joined today? Thank you. Thanks, Kellen. Thanks, no more bricks. Thank you, minifigure collector. Oh, that's all for a while. Thanks. Brick Sean. Brick Sean. And I'm going to go for a nap now. Well, I don't know. Hayden's going to wake up in like two seconds. If and early up. on, we had Mr. Dave Frost. We had Dave Frost and pumpkin. Mr. D. Frost, too. And Pumpkin. And Pumpkin. Uh, next week, probably, will be. Oh, yeah. It is the, no, our Thanksgiving celebration will be on Monday. My mom actually has a wedding on okay. Sunday. So so next week we'll probably be still be doing it on Sunday. Sunday. And then the weekend after. Wait, is it long weekend next weekend? Yes. So Sunday or Monday, we'll see. Okay. Because sometimes on long weekends we end up doing it on Monday. Okay. Just to stir things up. Just to stir things up. Wait. So when's the next October building coming up? Friday or Thursday? Friday. It's every oh, Friday. Wow. So. Because you know what, I I forgot in my in my wallet too. I had a five dollar off. Of, $20. So you can use it when you. But it expired October first. I'm like, oh, oh. why don't we use it for October? But we couldn't use it for October because October happened or started on October two. But it started earlier in the U.S. You were saying. Sorry, yeah. we're not done yet. I guess barely. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Well. So sad. Um. What was I gonna say? Oh, another thing. Oh wait, not yet. There's gonna be a 24-hour <laughs> live stream. I saw uh, next weekend. No, not next weekend. I think it's on the sixteenth or seventeenth, whatever that Saturday is. Oh. And so, um, is this the first time ever? Yeah, Haley Haley Bricks is organizing it. Mm -hmm. So if you are an A fall and you want to be part of this, uh, she said be global. Like she said to Instagram her. I don't know. If we're, I don't know. If, if, do you want to be part of that? Uh, like on a, one of the Saturdays. It don't have to be like late. Yeah, we'll see. It's hard to commit on a time though, because she yeah. wants people on certain times. Yes. Because it all depends on that little guy. Yeah. But if you guys are in eight fall and you want to have it, uh, it's gonna be uh, signing up for slots. It'll be on your your YouTube channel, so you can get people watching your YouTube channel and then just doing a live stream. It's a good idea. For you. But yeah, we don't know. Different eight falls have already signed up for different slots, and it's supposed to end. I think the hour before the actual live stream oh, on that Saturday no, no, no. night. So okay. it's, it's 24 right. hours leading up to that. Which is technically because Australia, for example, already be yeah. Okay, got it. And she said if you're a tea fall and you want to do this, um, try to make, make an outline of it. Just to say, okay, what am I going to do for this hour or two hours? Just so it's more organized. Or if you want to co-host with an A-fall or something like that. But uh, contact. Haley Bricks on her Instagram, not her YouTube, because right now she's out of town and she'll be checking her Instagram, but not really her, her email. So that's that. Oh, No More Bricks says that he signed up for 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. So check out No More Bricks' channel from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. on October 17th or that day. whatever that Saturday is. I'm going for tea that day, I forgot to tell you. Okay. okay. See you guys every uh, see you guys later. This is Nick and Maria. And this is full of brick signing off. Thanks for watching. And we'll <laughs> see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>